hey there, I'm gonna show you a sample of receiving a social token drop inside of an app that is using near protocol. Um, so first of all, we're just gonna to come to the app. We've never seen a near wallet. We don't even know what crypto is. We don't know what blockchain is. We don't know anything. So we're gonna sign in with Instagram. This part is obviously fake, but if I authorize, it just fills out my username. So I'm gonna create an account. So what's happening now is that a burner wallet is being created, like a burner account and um, for this account and uh, basically combined with meta transactions. And it's all really super easy to do. Um, so, I mean, this is already done for you uh, and you can just take this example and build your app around it. Uh, I'm just showing you on the Explorer right now on the testnet Explorer that this account doesn't exist. So if you like, if you search for this account, there's, there's nothing found. It, it doesn't, it doesn't let me go anywhere. Um, now that's because this account has, this guest account has no, no near, um, but it can still do things inside the smart contract because it has basically meta transactions, like all of its gas fees are being sponsored. So it can claim the social token drop. All right, so now it has 100 tokens. It could also transfer tokens and it can upgrade itself. So what does upgrading do? Well, upgrading takes uh, some small amount of these 100 tokens and it swaps it inside the contract for actual near tokens. And then the actual near tokens will be used to pay for gas and basically upgrade this user into an actual account. So I'm gonna copy this. Uh, I'm gonna upgrade the account and uh, I'm basically going to show you what it's like. I'm actually gonna copy a seed phrase for the account and then I'm gonna upgrade the account and show you what it's like uh, when the user pays for their own gas fees in just a moment. Um, but first I'm going to show you once again on the Explorer what this looks like. So I can actually search for this account now and this account actually exists. It has 0 0.5 near. Um, so we just created an account and the user and the user basically still doesn't know what the near wallet is, doesn't know anything. So remember, the user doesn't have to go to the Explorer. They still don't know what blockchain is. Um, they don't even need to know that this is their near balance. So anyway, back to the drop, let's enter in another user. And I'll show you the two users that still no crypto, no blockchain, don't know anything. I'll show you how they can transfer tokens back and forth to each other. So I'm gonna claim tokens for the second user. Um, and then I'm gonna go, I'm gonna copy this user's username. I'm gonna transfer to this user. So 90 tokens now for Matt and 109 for Wills. And then I'm gonna transfer from Wills to Matt. Okay, so these are two guest users of an app. They have no idea what crypto is. They don't know what gas fees are. They don't know anything except one user has chosen to upgrade their account by way of swapping their social tokens for a tiny bit of near tokens in like an automatic market maker. Um, and then now this, this account is paying for their gas. So if I transfer some more, you'll see 3985. If I transfer more tokens to Matt, you'll see that the, the gas will change by a uh, well, maybe it won't because it's so cheap, <laughs> but this user is actually paying for their own gas now. Um, so they're, they're actually paying this gas from this tiny amount of near, but it's not a lot of near to transfer a token. So um, basically uh, they're transferring tokens to Matt and then Matt is still a guest, has not upgraded yet. Um, that's it. That's how easy it can be.